Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader on the HTC Desire 510. This will work on any HTC phone for the most part, but this one's specific for the 510. So uh, the first thing you want to do is start out by taking out the battery. And once you take that out, you want to wait a few seconds and then put it back in. Once you put the battery back in, you want to press the volume down button and the home button for as long as it takes to start up into the, the little menu. And then once you're here, what you're going to want to do is press the power button to enter into fast boot. And then you want to plug in a USB into the phone. So you're going to have a, it's going to say fast boot USB. And then the rest is done on the computer. All right, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on the HTC Desire 510. Uh, if you already watched the first part of the video, you should already be set for this part. So what you want to do is you want to have these three files right here, which um, I'll I'll have a little zip file for you guys to download in the description. Actually, I'll have everything but the code.bin for you guys. And then what you want to do is you want to head over to htcdev.com, which is HTC's developer website, and you're going to want to register and log into an account. I already did that, so you want to go click unlock the bootloader and then get started, and this part takes a little bit. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to click select device, and I know there's a desire right here, but this isn't the right desire. You want to click all other mo supported models. You want to click be begin and click the two check marks and proceed. Now the first page is basically just telling you everything that I have and I mean everything that I already made you guys do and then at the bottom is the fast boot binary. What the fi fast boot binary is is just this fast boot file right here and it doesn't bring these other three that you need in order for this one to run. Um, I'm just gonna have a zip file that contains all four of them for you guys just to make things easier but if you do really want to get these three files by yourself they're in this Android SDK zip which is like 800 megabytes and you really don't need any of it except for those three files so like it says right here you're gonna go into your CMD you're gonna set your CD to wherever you have that f that folder that I have this I have it in C slash ADB and you're gonna type in fastboot OEM get unlock token. Now I I don't have my device connected, I know, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you this little string right here. And once it gives you that you're gonna have to right click select, I mean right click mark and then you're gonna select all of it and click enter. Or if by any reason you guys are on Windows ten, you just uh alt and then drag and then click enter and then you're gonna paste it in here so once you paste it in there they're gonna send an email to the ma email that you have registered on the account that you just made see I have uh, this one and um, they're gonna send HTC unlock bootloader at htc.com and they're gonna send you an unlock code you're gonna want to download this code and rename it to something simple and you're gonna put it in the same folder as all as the fast boot and stuff and you're just gonna put it in here. Once you have it in here, you're gonna want to uh, go to fast boot, go to this, and you're gonna wanna type in, you're gonna wanna type in uh, fast boot slash unlock underscore token, and then you're gonna put code.bin. Code.bin can be replaced with whatever you named this bin file right there right here the the code that they sent you you can leave it the same name or whatever but you have to replace this with the name of your file and then you're just gonna click enter it's gonna flash it to the device and it's gonna prompt you with a little screen that looks like a little screen that looks like this alright 
Once it comes up with this screen, you're going to press the volume up button and the power button to accept. Just remember that this is going to delete everything on your device. So proceed ca uh, cautiously and I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device after you do the yes. And once you're done, you're good. You should start up into your home screen. It's don't worry, it's going to show a HTC logo with the home button and the back button. All you have to do is wait long enough and it'll it'll do its thing. But once you've done waiting, you're done, you can get in. It's going to do the whole setup process that you do when you first get your phone again. And you're going to have an unlock bootloader. Loader. Now, it says down here to relock your bootloader for whatever reason. You're just going to do everything I uh, the the f everything in the first step and then in the CMD you're going to type in the fastboot OEM lock and that's it. But that's just a little note that they had and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try to help you. Uh the download link for the for this, I'll leave it in the description. Thank you very much for watching.